You know what? I'm so sick and tired of the fake outrage. I'm sick of it from every spectrum of America is nothing but fake outrage. I have a question for the so-called black Americans. Why do you support Israel, Palestine, and even the illegal immigrants that's crossing over the border? You claim to care so much about those children. You claim to be so concerned about the illegal children crossing the border when not just long ago, you were protesting to have the right to abort your unborn child. My body, my choice. Forget about protecting yourself or preventing yourself from being pregnant. No, you want the right, it makes you feel good to have the right or the power to not prevent yourself from getting pregnant, but to get pregnant. And then instead of being a protector of your own child in your own womb, you want the right to murder your unborn child, but yet you have fake outrage when it comes to the children of illegal immigrants, the children of Palestine, and the children of Israel. Even when we talk about people like Hassan Campbell, everybody's so concerned about children. Everybody's concerned about children being molested or being touched by not only Hassan Campbell, but how many people are talking about the children that are touched by women. All of these female school teachers, the same ones that have the right, that protested to have the right to abort their unborn child, even they are now touching these children, their teachers, their school teachers. These are the adults that parents are dropping their kids off, trusting them to not only teach their children, but to protect them while your child is in their company. But instead, you have these female school teachers getting pregnant and wanting to keep the child that they molested this child, got pregnant by this child and want to keep the baby. But yet at the same time, Y'all claim to be so concerned, so caring, and have such an outrage when you hear of situations like Hassan Campbell, or you hear of situations like the illegal immigrants, or you hear a uh, situation like what's happening, all these kids is being killed in this Palestinian and Israel war, now you have protesting, people fighting in America because one person supports Israel, the other person supports Palestine. You're losing friends and family members and you're so concerned about the children. But yet, not long ago, you were protesting for the right to abort your unborn child. You had an issue with the Republicans or Clarence Thomas for doing away with Roe versus Wade. And you protest, you're trying to fight to get this man off the bench because he is trying to protect the child that you wanna murder but yet you claim to care about these children that you see in the back here. These kids were murdered in that Palestinian and Israel war. 
And now you're going crazy talking about how concerned you are about the children, but your own children are dying in the streets of America. You're not fighting to protect those children. What about all of the black children that die in the street from gun violence? Oh, ban the guns. We're going against firearms, but yet you never go after the criminals that kill your own children. Think of the number of weeping black women that had to cry over the casket of their child that died as a result of street violence, but yet you're silence about that. You're silence about the criminals' firearms, but you want to disarm legal citizens. So I'm tired of the fake outrage, man. Stop it. Stop talking about how you're so concerned about the kids. This person touched a child. That person touched a child. That person's a pedophile. This person's a pedophile. We're concerned about the kids crossing the border to the point where many Americans are starving. They're homeless, barely making it. And all of your money is going to Ukraine. All of your money is going to illegal immigrants and nothing is being done for America. And now they're talking about sending money to Israel. And you claim to care so much about Israel. You, care, you claim to care so much about Palestine and the children that's dying there. But yet you fail to protect your own children. How many people on social media, all of these people that's gun hold, that's attacking other YouTubers? See, I'm tired of these kids being used for your political and personal beefs. You have a personal beef with somebody, so you're gonna use the children, pretending like you care about children, and then these dudes are quick to say, I have daughters, I have children, and I do this for my child. Nobody knows that because nobody lives. You're on the internet. So nobody really knows what kind of relationship you have with your child or what you're actually doing in your child's life. Nobody knows that. But you would get on social media and brag about how you doing for your kids. But at the same time, you support, and I'm not just talking to the females, I'm talking to these men that claim that, well, women should have a right over their own bodies. That's your way of getting out of your responsibility of supporting these kids. You feel I can just get this woman pregnant. I can cheat on my wife. I can cheat on my girl, get this female pregnant. And then she can just get rid of it. I'll, I'll, I'll hit her with a couple of dollars. Well, just go down and get rid of it. Because you don't want the responsibility, but you claim to care so much about these kids that's being molested. You claim to care so much about these kids that's dying over in Israel and Palestine. And you claim to care so much about those kids that's crossing the border. But when it comes to your own kids, you want to see their demise. You want to be able to scrape them out of your womb. So I'm tired of the fake outrage. I'm tired of you using these kids. As, as a political weapon or even as for these females that's having these kids, care nothing about your kids, you're only looking for a payday. You get pregnant by these celebrities and the first thing you talk about is child support. And then the child grows up with emotional or psychological issues because you didn't protect them properly. But you claim to care so much about these kids over in Palestine. And why are you supporting Palestine, black people? They're only using you politically, just like you're using your kids. So why are you supporting a war that has nothing to do with you? Your concern should be right here in this country. Your concern should be protecting your own children instead of worrying about somebody else's kids that care nothing about you. 
Now, I'm going to end this with a scripture, right? Got a scripture for y'all. And it's going to be taken from the book of Psalms. The 127th Psalm, reading the third to the fifth verse. And it reads as follows. Lo, children are the heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. I'll read that third verse again. Lo, children are an in heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. See, that's talking about children, the same children you want to abort in your womb. But you have fake outrage and claim to care so much about the kids over in Palestine and Israel, a war that has nothing to do with you, a war among people that despise you, especially the so-called black Americans. You care so much about Palestine and Israel and these illegal immigrants that's crossing the border, but yet neglect your own child, even the child that you gave birth to because they're dying in the street and you're doing nothing to protect them. But you're concerned about other people's kids. So I'm tired of fake outrage. Feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>